Hello everybody. Very many of you have asked me to do a video about Brexit. Is England going to stay in or out of the Euro? After studying many, many charts, the 1066 chart, 1801, David Cameron, Boris Johnson, N Nigel Farage, I was going dizzy with all the different uh, conflicting bits of information out there uh, that the astrology really indicates. So I decided to take two important charts. One is the 1st of January 73, when Britain joined the EU. And the other, of course, is the polling date, which is coming up on the 23rd of June. So let's look at this first one, when Britain joined the EU. We had five planets in Sagittarius. So although it was a Capricorn Sun time, it was a time of reaching out, going beyond our boundaries. Sagittarius would rule foreign trade, foreign connections, international business, opening up to those possibilities. So it had some really good intentions on the date of joining. Also on that date, Uranus was at 23 degrees of Libra. Now, some of you may know, if you, if you already do astrology or learn astrology, that somewhere between the ages of 42 and 44, you very often go through what is known as a midlife crisis. And this comes at the time when Uranus is opposite Uranus. So what happens when you're about 42, 44 is, and this is what's happening right now with the UK, it's about, it's about 43 years, five months since it joined the EU. Uranus is now at 23 degrees Aries, exactly opposite the time when it joined. So England is having a little bit, shall we say, of a midlife crisis with respect to joining the EU. Things being shaken up. It's interesting. Now, let's look at the date of the poles. We're still under this mutable cross, with Mercury being very much the feature, the trigger planet of the mutable cross, with Saturn, Neptune, and Jupiter. So, there's been a great deal of uncertainty. I mean, all my friends in England, it's like, they're just saying, well, you hear one story that it's safer for us to stay in the EU. Another story that says it's much safer if we come out of it, financially better in, better out. There's a tremendous amount of confusion, which is certainly happening with the, the Saturn-Neptune square going on, and then the square from Mercury to Neptune, it's like one day people go, oh yes, I think I know what I'm voting, and the next day, unsure again. We've also, on this date, got Mars almost stationary retrograde. So there's a strong possibility that if the poles are going one way, it could go in exactly the opposite direction. However, what I'm looking at is that for the whole of that date, from the beginning of polling at 7 a.m. until the end at 10 p.m., we have got a moon in Aquarius. So the sun, and Venus on the day are in Cancer, indicating your home, the home country. But ruler of this is that moon in Aquarius. A moon in Aquarius is all about no borders, no boundaries. Equally, it's about doing things your way, and it would rule this Uranus energy. So it really is very much twofold, Mercury and Gemini. One, the good twin and the bad twin. Yes and no, going there and back. Hope I'm not confusing things more as I'm saying all this, but there is a theme through this, there's a thread. But the last part of it, that just maybe gives a hint, and really, boy, it's just a hint. I think that it's anybody's call at this point. But to me, the hint is that at the close of polling, this Mercury energy, Mercury in Gemini is trine to that moon in Aquarius, which to me would indicate, chances are, 
that England will stay in the Euro and there will not be a Brexit. That's just my take on it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm ready for all your comments and thoughts as well. Thank you.